Yeah, uh, good evening, um, uh, Your Excellencies, um, dear students, um, dear guests, and in particular, dear Naibi Nina, Mr. Bagger, and Mr. Solana. Uh, welcome to the latest installment of the school's series on innovation in international affairs. It's a series that we inaugurated last year and that we will continue this current academic year as well. And I'm delighted that so many of you uh, came uh, tonight uh, to be part of a panel that looks at leadership in international organizations. Uh, we have a very, very interesting panel tonight, and my task in the next two or three minutes is to introduce the panelists briefly before I turn it over to Nairi and Nina, who will introduce you or who will present to you a, a summary of a project that uh, they have just finished. Uh, let me start with uh, Nairi Woods, who's on uh, my left and your far right. She's the inaugural dean of the Plavatnik School of Government. Uh, and Professor of Economic Global Governance at, at Oxford University. And uh, Nairi and I had uh, the pleasure of um, having about 10, 15 minutes uh, together where we could compare notes. And I think in these 10, 15 minutes, we came up with as many ideas of uh, the things we could do together in, in the future. Um, Nairi's research interests are on economic global governance, the challenges of globalization, uh, economic development, and in that context, the role of international organizations. She's been the ad an advisor to the IMF, to the uh, to UNDP, and to the Commonwealth head, Heads of, of Government, educated at Auckland University in New Zealand and Balliol College uh, in Oxford. She then moved to Harvard and taught at the government department. She worked for uh, various international organizations, including the World Economic Forum and the UN High Commission for Refugees and WHO. She works very closely with our very own Nina Hall, and Nina Hall also works on, not surprisingly, international organizations and their role in the 21st century. Uh, before uh, joining uh, the Hertie School as a postdoc, I think it was about two years ago, Nina, if I'm, if I'm right, or two happy years ago, I should emphasize. Uh, she uh, completed a master's in political studies at Auckland, University of Auckland in New Zealand, and she holds a PhD in international relations from Oxford, and you see there's a pattern there emerging. Um, so let me uh, move on to Javier, Javier Solana, and as we often say, he needs no introduction, but it's a really a very impressive list, and it's a joy reading it uh, to you now to see that uh, uh, all the various high offices and important positions Javier has occupied over the years. He was, as you know, former EU high representative for current foreign policy and security uh, policy. He was secretary general of the Council of the European Union. Uh, he now serves as president of ESADA, of ESADA Center for Global Economic and Geopolitics in Barcelona and Madrid. And he's a distinguished fellow at, and this is an incomplete list, or a a visiting faculty member at uh, Brookings, at the uh, Kennedy School in Harvard, at uh, the C European Council on Foreign Relations, at Human Rights Watch, uh, at the London School of Economics, and most importantly, of course, Javier, I'm sure you would agree, he is a fellow at the Hertie School of Governance. And, uh, Thomas Bagger, who's sitting next to uh, Nairi, is head of policy planning at the uh, Foreign Ministry here in, in Berlin. He played a very important role in formulating a document that was called Review 2014, a fresh look at uh, German foreign policy. And he also drafted a paper, a very influential paper on the rise, uh, on eco rising economic, uh, on rising powers, not economic powers, but rising powers uh, in the world at the moment. Uh, previous postings included Washington, uh, Ankara, and Prague, and before joining the diplomatic service in 1992, he worked for SWP here in Berlin. He's a, a graduate of uh, the University of uh, Maryland College Park in government and politics and has a doctorate from LMU in Munich. And last, but by no means least, Joanna Mayer. Joanna, who's sitting right in the middle there, 
uh, is a professor of management organizational leadership here at the Hertie School. She's also a Hewlett Foundation visiting scholar at the Stanford Center on Philanthropy and Civil Society, where she is the academic editor of the Stanford Social Innovation Review. She had previous uh, positions at Harvard and NCIAT, and her research focuses on organizational innovation and how these innovations then uh, generate economic and social uh, development. So we have a very, very interesting panel uh, with different experiences and different coming from different academic backgrounds. And uh, I'm sure, like you, I'm looking forward to a very fruitful and energetic discussion. And without further ado, let me hand it over to Nairi and Nina. The floor is yours. Thank you.